Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. You're looking at the newest pistol made by Canik, and it is a Canik TP9 SFX competition handgun that was introduced about a year and a half ago, and a lot of people were excited about it, a lot of anticipation as to when it would be released, and I'm here to tell you, Century Arms recently released this handgun, and it is a nice looking gun i like the tungsten finish on the slide also has great accents on the back strap and the base plate of the magazine but all in all everything this gun has that you see right now many many of the features and what accessories are included with it for the price is quite amazing so let's take a look at that there's the case it does come with a holster and then the paddle part of the holster is right there you put that together it does come with a bore brush this strap can be removed just on there by buttons. Comes with two 20 round magazines made by Mechgar, which are top of the line. Okay, shows 18 in the sight holes, but it does have a plus two base plate. So it comes with two of those, holds 20 rounds. Two back straps. Okay, this is the larger one, smaller one. It's already installed on the gun, feels great. Four different optic mounting plates. So I took out number four. I have them labeled. There's number four. Here's my loophole Delta Point Pro, and it fits there perfectly. So I'm going to mount this optic on the SFX, as well as the speed loader. And then this case has a couple additional front posts, fiber optic front posts, as well as mag release heights. So you could change that. Now it comes with this one, extends out a bit for the mag release. You can change it to a smaller size if that's your choice. And it's also reversible for lefties. But the gun itself has a very nice feel to it. For a full-size gun, it feels quite light. And one of the things that Canik did was they lightened up the fore end of the slide with these cutouts here. Okay, it's on both sides, four, four separate cutouts. It looks very cool. It exposes the barrel, but it is not ported. It is simply to lighten up. The fore end and it is it, it's a fairly light gun for a full-size gun that holds 20 rounds it does have a 1913 picatinny rail here serrations in the front for the press checks that those competitors do so often and of course deep cut rear serrations the the grip itself already mentioned two back straps nice stippling familiar with canning guns you'll know how how that feels but the trigger is one of the things that is, I think, super special. They lighten it up a bit, right at four to four and a half pounds, and it is a nice trigger. Very light. I mean, you actually have to be in my position right now to pull it to understand how light it is. But check out this reset, and it's very audible right there for the follow-up shots. Striker Fire does have the trigger bar in there that is also... A tungsten gray, nice little accent there, and also has a striker fire indicator back there. See that red dot, and it goes away when the trigger is pulled. Already mentioned fiber optic front sight here, combat rear sights in the rear, and look at that TP9 SFX. Let's go ahead and get it on the scale. A lot of these full size guns are, are very heavy. And this one just doesn't feel that heavy. You know, it feels very comfortable. I, I've owned the gun for a very short while now. And I feel like I know everything about this gun. Because it's, it's simple, but yet feature loaded. The unloaded weight is 29 and 3 quarters ounces. Okay. And here we have 20 rounds. I've got it loaded up with this hot shot steel case ammo. There it is, 115 grains. Fully loaded with 20 rounds, weighing in at 37 and 7 eighths ounces. So approximately 38 ounces, a fully loaded gun. Great feel to it, no question about it. I tell you what, this, this is the full package. You know, it really does have everything that a competition shooter could want. And what they did was they, they made it so that you don't have to go get anything they they include everything that you need and those who like optics you could easily remove this plate here with those screws which i will be doing and adding the the mounting plate with your optic right there for those competition shooters now even if you enjoy 
uh, well, I think we all enjoy shooting well at the range. This gun will get you there. I'm going to be checking it out myself and you know what? I have high expectations. To disassemble the gun, it's a very simple process here. We're just gonna pull back, drop these levers here, pull the trigger, and here we have a large recoil spring and guide rod in the 5.2 inch barrel. And here we have, there's a little plunger there, okay, drop safety. And then the frame itself, polymer frame, striker fire pistol made by Canik, very nice package. And there's a closer look at the trigger and the stippling on the grip. I'm impressed, guys. I tell you what, for, for 550 bucks, they have everything. You know, a lot of people, they, they go out and they, they, they buy this stuff separately. Canik is offering it all right in the package. And there it is. Canik TP9. SFX beautiful looking handgun and you'll be seeing this at the range shortly and if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe